You ever wake up one day and just try and figure out who somebody really is? Well, this is where the story of Andrew Randazzo comes into play. Who is the real Andrew Randazzo? One of the greatest hockey players to ever play the game was Andrew Randazzo. The rise of the superstar was probably the greatest story that has ever come out of South Jersey. But could domestic abuse lead to the downfall of his career? We will further investigate this story. Some people may know him as Andrew Randazzo, but many people will remember him as Henrique Walowinski, chief of the Barbados Islands, and his partner in crime, Minkus, aka the Uber driver. These two were the dangerous two on the ice, but could they be the two dangerous people off the ice? On December 14th of 1942, there was a reported hit and run from a 98 Corolla on a toddler. This same description matches the vehicle of Andrew Randazzo. Could it be the superstar from South Jersey who caused such danger to the local town? After the situation was reported, Andrew Randazzo seeked to the mountains to play pond hockey for two months before being asked to host Saturday Night Live. One Direction had asked Andrew Randazzo to join them on tour after seeing his talent on SNL. Within a month of touring, a shocking photo was released from the show in Cape Town, Africa. The picture shows here that Andrew Randazzo's head is on backwards. Now the main question is, how? After all these allegations were made, Randazzo needed to clear his mind, so he decided to go to a stick and puck located at Hollida where he grew up playing as a kid. But who knew this would be the last skate for Andrew Randazzo? As a wildly intoxicated Minkus shows up to the rink, not realizing how much danger he's putting everybody's lives in at stick and puck. After being boarded by Minkus as Stick and Puck, Randazzo felt a little weak in the head and thought he would sleep it off since he felt really tired after the head crushing hit against the boards. Andrew Randazzo would be born nine months too soon because of this hit and would be pronounced dead on December 31st of 1942 just after Brett Favre would be positioned as Coalition General in Iraq. Now we are able to answer the question we've been asking this whole time. And the answer is yes. Andrew Randazzo drives a 98 Honda Corolla. Lift it. Thank you for watching ESPN 30 for 30 and good night.